So for this part, we're going to talk about relationship between two lines. Over here, relationship between two lines essentially can have three different kind of relationship. Okay, first, the lines are parallel. Second thing, the lines intersect or the, the lines are skewed. So for line parallel and line intersecting, I'm pretty sure it's quite obvious. Um, but for part C, lines are skewed. It simply means that the line are lying on different planes. So for example, over here, this can be a plane. Now the line one can lies on here and line two essentially can be something like that. Okay, so even though they are not parallel, they will never intersect at all because they are on a different plane. This we'll be learning further when we go on to vector three. Okay, so for uh, three different kind of relationships, okay, how do I determine what kinds of relationship two lines share? So for example, I'm going to give you two lines equation. I'm going to determine the relationship between these two lines. So let's say L1 is R equal to 1, 0, 2 plus lambda 1, 4, and 7. Next, we're going to talk about line 2, which is R equal to 4, 3, minus 1 plus mu, 1, 0, and minus 3. Okay, by comparing the line directions, the both the direction, I can immediately see that the lines are not parallel. So I can immediately say that line 1 and line 2 are not parallel. Take note, this step is the most important step. Please always check the relationship between your two lines if they are parallel. Please do not skip this step. So if the lines are not parallel, what I'm going to do is we're going to try to go back to determine if they are intersecting or they are skewed. So how do I determine if they are intersecting or skewed? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that both of them intersect. So I'm going to if 1 plus lambda, which is a first line equation, 4 lambda and 2 plus 7 lambda is equal to 4 plus mu, 3 and minus 1 minus 3 mu. By doing this, I'm going to assume that line 1 and line 2 intersect. Okay, and I can actually create out three different equations by comparing the x component, the y component, and also your z component. Take note, I will have three equations and two unknowns, which is namely your mu and lambda. So what I can do is I'm going to use two of the equation out of these three to solve for my lambda or mu. I can actually use my 1 and 3, I can use 1 and 2, I can use 2 and 3 as well. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so over here, since 2 is quite straightforward, I'm going to use 2. I'm going to pair it together with 1. I can use 3 as well, it doesn't matter. So over here, I'm going to say solving 1 and 2, I will get lambda to be equal to 3 quarter. And with lambda equal to 3 quarter, I'm going to sub into my equation 1. I'll get 1 plus 3 quarter equal to 4 plus mu. Essentially, my mu over here will become minus 9 over 4. So with this lambda and mu, now assuming if the line intersect, this lambda value and this mu value will fit into my third z component very nicely. However, if these two values doesn't fit into my third equation, essentially it just simply means that the lines are skewed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to sub in my lambda and mu into my equation 3. Take note, over here I've set the equation 3 because the first part I only use 1 and 2. If you use 2 and 3, kindly sub the lambda and mu value into equation 1. So ultimately it depends on which first two equation you actually use. So same thing, I'm going to sub lambda is equal to 3 quarter over here and mu is equal to 9 over negative 9 over 4 into my equation 3. Okay, I'm going to compare my left hand side and my right hand side here. So left hand side, which is equal to 2 plus 7 lambda. So I'm going to sub in my lambda value. This will give me 29 over 4. Then I'm going to quickly jump onto my right hand side, okay, which is equal to minus 1 minus 3 mu. And I'm going to sub in my value of my negative 9 over 4. Okay, I can quickly calculate out to be 23 over 4. Okay, and since left hand side is not equal to right hand side, we can simply derive that line 1 and line 2 are skewed line. If your left hand side is equal to right hand side, essentially it means that the lines intersect. Okay, and with that value, you can essentially find out the common point of intersection as well. Okay, so there are three examples over here in the notes. 
Okay, kindly go and try doing it. They're going to give you the answer at the end of this video. Very short while. Okay, so kindly go and try. Determine the relationship between these three lines and we're going to, we're going to show you the answer at the end of this video.